Who doesn't love a good piece of chicken or those perfectly fried eggs for breakfast? I know I do, and I bet you do too. This is one of the many reasons why chicken meat and eggs have become somewhat of a staple in most homes in modern society. Their availability, easy cooking process, and great taste mean that literally anybody can use them to feed themselves and their families. That's just how important they are to people. Some people have had troubling experiences with this animal, especially if you have ever been to a farm or have had to deal with the chicken before. They are very temperamental animals and will peck your hands at the slightest opportunity, but that doesn't stop them from being the main source of many people's dietary supply of protein. If anything, many people have come to depend on this animal even more as the years go by. Basic knowledge states that chickens didn't just magically appear out of nowhere, and the process of cultivating the animal goes back many years. Chickens are believed to belong to an order of birds called galliforms, which are directly connected to the survival of birds at the time when other dinosaurs went extinct. After the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event, these birds evolved into modern galliforms, which includes domesticated chickens a direct descendant of the red jungle fowl. A study released in 2020 showed that chickens shared about 71 to 79% of their genetic makeup with the red jungle fowl. With the domestication period dating back to 8,000 years ago, there is an early study that states that one domestication event of their ancestor, the red jungle fowl, that happened in what is now Thailand gave rise to the domestic chicken with slight transitions differentiating the modern breeds. The red jungle fowl is known to take advantage of the large quantities of seed made during the end of the multi-decade bamboo seeding cycle to enhance its reproduction. With time, humans took advantage of this predilection for the red jungle fowl's plentiful reproduction when subjected to large quantities of food. The domestication of chickens was believed to have started in Southeast Asia, spreading to China and India about 2,000 to 3,000 years later. This is also archaeological evidence that puts domestic chickens in Southeast Asia long before 6,000 BC, in China by 6,000 BC, and in India by 2,000 BC. As meat, chicken has been portrayed in Babylonian carvings from some time in 600 BC being one of the most popular kinds of meats available in the Middle Ages. As centuries went by, a number of different types of chicken have been eaten all over most of the Eastern Hemisphere, including hens, capons, and pullets. In 19th century America, chicken was costlier than other types of meats and became food for the rich. However, its consumption rose in the U.S. during the Second World War due to a beef and pork shortage. In Europe, in 1996, chicken consumption surpassed that of beef and veal, thanks to consumer awareness of the mad cow disease. We go behind the scenes to see how domestic chickens are cultivated for their meat and eggs, and the modern processing techniques. As previously mentioned, chicken meat and eggs have become very common in many cuisines thanks to the availability and low cost of cultivating the animal and processing its products. The varieties of ways in which this animal can be prepared just goes to show why this animal is very common in the world today and even in the past. Prepared chicken has grown to be a staple of fast food ever since the later half of the 20th century, and it doesn't help that chicken meat is often considered to be healthier than red meat thanks to its lower concentrations of saturated fat and cholesterol. There are modern varieties of domestic chicken, such as the Cornish Cross, that are cultivated mainly for meat production, with a high degree of importance placed on the ratio of meat to feed produced by the animal. The most popular breeds of domestic chicken eaten in the U.S. are White Rock and Cornish Cross. Broilers are a group of chickens raised primarily for food, and in the U.S., this group of chickens is usually carved up at a young age. For example, modern Cornish cross hybrids are carved up early, at 12 weeks for roasting birds and at 8 weeks for fryers. It is also believed that castrated adult male chickens, known as capones, produce more meat, which is why they are considered a delicacy today 
and were very important in the Middle Ages. Processing chicken meat usually starts from the right farming conditions, as certain factors such as proper lighting, adequate potable water, proper drainage system, and good ventilation are necessary for the hygienic processing of chicken meat. Processing of the chicken meat continues with the hygienic slaughter of the chicken, as the animal should be fasted 12 hours prior, while being given water very often to reduce the microbial load in the bird's intestine, reducing the risk of contamination during the evisceration process. Next is the stunning process, in which the bird is hanged for slaughter to remove the maximum amount of blood from the carcass while extending the shelf life of the chicken meat. Once the stunning process is completed, next comes the bleeding process which involves sticking a knife in the chicken's major vessel in the neck and allowing it to bleed for two or three minutes in a bleeding cone, which is used for the hygienic and aesthetic removal of blood. Next is the defeathering process, in which the feathers are removed by dipping the bird into water of 50 to 60 degrees Celsius to loosen the feathers. Scalding tanks and defeathering machines can also make this process faster and more hygienic. After removing the feathers, the evisceration process is next to remove the organs and collect the inedible and edible offal separately for processing and delivery. The meat is washed properly, and if it isn't sold immediately, it's stored at 4 degrees Celsius in a refrigerator. While that sums up the procedures for processing chicken meat, it is slightly different for chicken eggs. Most commercially cultivated chicken eggs meant for human consumption are unfertilized, considering the laying hens are kept away from the roosters. Fertile eggs can also be eaten, with the minimal nutritional difference compared to unfertilized eggs. Processing chicken eggs is a much simpler process than that of chicken meat, especially since the animal usually survives the process. It often begins with the harvest of the chicken eggs from the poultry farm, and one has to be careful not to rile up the animal during collection. After collection, the eggs can either be sold as they are, or they could undergo further processing, such as egg drying or freezing. Egg drying involves drying the egg white, yolk, or whole egg after pasteurization with the help of various methods of drying. The egg powder from this process can be reconstituted before use by adding a desired quantity of water and the process of drying can be achieved using high-pressure nozzles or an atomizer. In contrast, egg freezing involves freezing the whole of the egg liquid content, or the egg is separated into white and yolk and then frozen, all to reduce contamination. That said, eggs can be graded based on the egg's interior quality and the egg's appearance and condition. These grades include US grade AA, US grade A, and US grade B. However, in parts of the world like Australia and the European Union, eggs are graded by the free range, hen raising method, battery caged, etc.